We are on the motherfucking road. I'm going to Canada. I'm going to Canada. I know it's called Canada. I just can't help myself. We're going to call this my direct sunlight vlog because I'm releasing a song in a month called direct sunlight. I wrote it last February right after I just moved into my new place and I for the first time was living alone by myself and I was hit with like so much freedom and I ended up being on the road just doing a shit ton of road trips all spring and going climbing and just adventuring and meeting new people and having so much fucking fun. Anyways, that's what that song's about. And I've had this idea of going up to Squamish in Canada to go climbing for like a couple months now. I just like, July, Canada. That was just the idea. I have a couple friends living up there and a couple friends who are visiting up there. And so uh, I'm about to go up to Canada and climb with them. So you're invited with me on this adventure. First stop is Ashland, Oregon, and we're gonna be visiting Annie. We're getting into Ashland. I'm a minute away. It's Annie. Tell me what's happening. Okay, we're having a moment here in nature. Come over and see. Let's go. It might be too high now. Oh my God. What the fucking shit, Oh my dude. gosh, there's two. Okay, there is a turkey all the way up in that tree. It's a double turkey. Is that where they roost? I don't know, actually. They go there every night though. Oh my God. Annie, good morning. Good morning. What's cracking? We are headed to Seattle. We're gonna go visit Lindsay. I'm so excited to visit my Lindsay baby. I'm just driving through Oregon right now. It's cute, lots of green. I'm a YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber. We are <laughs> going to the bagel shop. We're gonna get bagels and bucks. And beer. And beer? <laughs> Are you gonna get a beer? Yeah, I think so. Sorry, baby. <laughs> okay, we ought to play, baby. Check out my fit. Look at how well I match. Oh my god, this even matches <laughs> so. Wow, I have a problem. <laughs> uh, this is outfit of the day with Lillian, and yes, I do match amazingly. These are my um, fifth pair of Crocs, but I can tell that they're gonna be a keeper. Um, so Crocs, and then pants, and then shirt. And jacket. Yeah. That's it. What about your backpack? Oh, and this. Okay, this used to be a little rolly suitcase for a little boy yeah. named Noah. So it was like a little rolly suitcase and he would roll it around like this. <laughs> I got it at the thrift store and now it's my backpack. No, not a great angle. <laughs> Wait, squat it down and then put the lens yeah. on the thing. Okay, good, good, good. Um, good we are good. getting beers at Sea Pine right now. And. <laughs> Yum! <laughs> Follow your dreams, kids. One day you can be a YouTube vlogger. Hi, Lindsay! Love this alcohol! It's beer slime! <laughs> In case my parents are watching, <laughs> or Lillian's parents are watching. Wait, by the way, that's a sick outfit. Like, I Thank you so much. Thank you to come out of the outfit. So we're at the Ballard Seafood Festival. So I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> Live, laugh, flow. Love, baby. <laughs> Hi, Lindsay. This is really cute. Puppy, this is for the vlog. Hey, puppy. Yes. Waggle, waggle, waggle. Mm. Uh oh, waffles. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, hi. It's Sunday. We are driving from Seattle up to 
Swami and wow, had such a fucking fun night last night. Holy shit. We went to the seafood festival, drank a fuck ton of beer, someone gave me a hit of weed and I was fucked up in like a really good way. <laughs> And then we walked to a bar and uh, it was a karaoke bar. And I don't remember much, but apparently I joined the girl on stage for a rendition of, do you remember the 21st night of September? And apparently everybody there knew it except for me. And I, I know that song-ish. I just don't know how apparently I knew none of the lyrics yesterday. So that was an L, O, L. I also may or may not have gotten up on a tall, Swiftly bar stool for the entirety of Picture to Burn by Taylor Swift. So that was another highlight of my life. I was apparently flirting really hard with this one guy. And <laughs> before I left, I went up to him and I was like, hey, I'm gonna leave now. So it's your last chance to get my number. And he was just like, it was so nice meeting you. <laughs> so that was fun. What else did I do that embarrassed me? Oh, apparently I spilled Lindsay's full beer and didn't even notice that I spilled her entire beer, which I feel very bad about and I wish that I had noticed because I would have gotten her a new beer. So anyways, I had a lot of fun. Now I'm on the fucking road and I'm so excited to be in Swarmish. Uh, I haven't been in Canada for like a minute. Can't wait, I'm gonna stay with my friend Nathan tonight. So yay! So I did just leave the gas pump without taking out the gas pump. So it popped the fuck off and um, kinda, you know, not ideal. I've never done that before, so. That's broken. That's not in great shape. They're friendly. Apparently it happens all the time. Bless her heart. She took it away in a bag and scanned my ID. Now I'm at the border crossing. Let's fucking get boarded. All right, ooh, look at that lighting. Uh, so we are in line to get into Canada, and it's, uh, it's slow. It's slow, folks. All right, I am next. Just like I still get nervous when I get carded, even though I'm 28. I'm nervous. I don't have anything, I don't have anything in my car, but it's like, you know, border patrol. All right, I made it through. That was relatively chill, except for he was very confused at my electric guitar. He was like, what do you got in there? Like a bass guitar? I was like, yeah, electric guitar. He's like, huh, are you playing any shows here? I was like, no, just have an electric guitar. He is like, hmm. Why not, I mean, an acoustic guitar. I understand acoustic, but electric? Why electric? And I was like, it's fun to break it out of the campfire. Like there are enough acoustic guitars. And he like did not believe me. He was like, hmm. Just gave me like the strangest fucking look. I was like, what? What is the deal with the electric guitar? I don't get it. Maybe they thought I was like gonna play a show and I needed a different type of visa or something. He's like, you're not gonna be busking? I was like, nope. <laughs> All right, onwards, upward. Damn, Sean. Fuck me up, dude. Fuck, that's so pretty. Fuck, it's so good. We're hella close. We made it. We're fucked. Right here. Yeah, daytime. So I made it to Squammy. I'm at Nathan's apartment. Nathan! Yeah, that's Nathan. Look at how big that rock is. Don't you want to touch it? I want to touch it. I want to touch rocks. So yeah, that's it. We're kicking it. We're having some janky drinks. We're enjoying the last of the sunlight. Oh. Yeah, 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 oh. yeah, 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 yeah. Hello there. It's a big bear. Oh, bye bear. Wow, that's wild. Yeah, it's a wild bear. <laughs> that's Let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna go for the 
I got a burger and sweet potato fries. Let's go. So my first A&W experience, I should have gotten a root beer. Didn't the bears ever come up here? Yeah, 100%. Good morning. Last night was so fucking fun. Nathan and I decided to go out karaoke and we made it for the last 20 minutes of karaoke. I got on the list and I sang Picture to Burn like it was nobody's fucking business. Everyone was really impressed. I've always been like a little scared of karaoke because I'm afraid I'm gonna like take it too seriously or like I'm not gonna be good enough. You know, it's just like I'm <clears throat> a professional and I'm afraid I'm gonna take it too seriously. Um, no, it was so much fun. Oh, <laughs> and then after I got off on stage from singing Picture to Burn, the host finds a, a doobie on the ground and he's like, hey, anybody uh, lose a roach? <laughs> and he like holds it up. I was the only one who paid attention. I was like, yup. <laughs> and like ran up and grabbed it, it was awesome. All right, I'm in the campsite and holy shit, it is so cute and it is so green. So we're gonna find a spot. All right, we're all moved in-ish. It's my cute little site, I got my hammock up. It is so pretty here, I love it, I love it. The wild mushroom village. Oh, look at that. That's not what we ought to be saying this. Right? Oh, I yes. can't do that. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, that's actually a little bit. That's. I'll call it if you want. <laughs> From the stand. Oh, I think it's a girl. Wow. The energy of this shopping cart is so nice. I'm gonna ride this. I swear to God, I'm gonna ride it. Uh. Time to rock climb. The inaugural use of the best ashtray ever. Ooh, thank you. I just got in big trouble. I was just driving by the side of the road and I noticed all these beautiful wildflowers just like spilling onto the sidewalk. And I was like, yes. So I pulled over and I was just like picking wildflowers. And then I hear someone shouting, you're killing them. And I was like, I'm sorry, bitch, what? <laughs> and so I turned around and I was like, what? And there's this like lady like waving at me and like across the courtyard off a balcony with literally just flowers all around her. Like so many, so many flowers. And she was like, they're not wild, you know? I was like, oh, thanks for letting me know. <laughs> but Grace Francis deserves these. These are the Dr. Dr. Bag, dirt bag cocktail. If you don't have a shaker, you can just use Tupperware. This is eight glugs of whiskey, four glugs of lemon juice, and two glugs of simple syrup. Give her a shake. Cold, chill. Yo, should this be on? Sorry, this shirt was man in the way, let me just go over here. The shirtless man is doing something. I think we're done. Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, but the glasses are chilled. That's oh, fancy. Trampoline <laughs> park would be a good way to. Hard. Tools for two. Okay, Megan. You could do a third if you want to remember. It. She said she has to be at the airport at 4 a.m. So I figured she's probably like. That's oily. Like, oily. Mm -hmm. Good morning! I'm gonna cook up some mushrooms. Don't these look cool? They were the cheapest mushrooms and also like the quantitiest. So I'm a little bit, I'm nervous. Like what's the catch here, you know? Look, I just like peeled them off and then I'll just like throw them in. Five hours later. So it's just come to my attention that I have not been bear aware and my food actually got confiscated because it was too not bear aware. So now I have to go reconfiscate it. I feel like a bad girl. I put a strap around it. So to me, I felt like I like bear canister approved it. So it already felt like it was like kind of in a locker, shall we say. 
obviously miscalculated that one. I hope they're not too mad. Hi, me still. I'm still your host. I got an interview today with NPR. It's a weekend update, so whatever. Okay, bye. <laughs> Good morning, this video is for you. We are at a beautiful crag. Well, I haven't gotten there yet, but I'm gonna be getting there. Like, I'm in the parking lot. I gotta walk there. I've only planned one since I've been here. I'm so excited to hug the rocks. They need to be hugged. Oh my god, do you guys see that car? They just asked me, what's your channel? <laughs> because I'm a YouTuber. Okay, hi, it's Lillian in the forest. This is so pretty here. I decided what to do next. So I'm just sitting by tent, vlogging. I don't know why I'm so like, I'm so uncomfortable with vlogging. Like I laugh about vlogging to like make fun of it because I'm like embarrassed that I do it. I'm like looking around me right now, like I hope nobody sees me. It just seems very like self-involved or something, but yeah. That's okay. I'm still doing it. And if I can make fun of myself a little bit, then that's okay. I can make fun of myself. I trust myself. That's something I've been thinking about lately, like trusting oneself and what that actually means. And it's just like knowing that you're gonna make the best decision for yourself at the time. Just like knowing, like having your back. <sighs> not a ton of cute boys here. This is not gonna make the cut of the vlog, but just for you, Lillian watching back, girl. <laughs> Slim. Okay. So much water, but no fish in the sea. Like, so wet, but no fish in the sea. Yeah, everyone's like a little off. Like, I haven't like vibed really straight on with anybody. And I've been here for like six days. Do I have any more secrets? The next day. So I was on NPR today. Oh God, it's just so exciting. Scott Simon interviewed me for Weekend Edition. We talked about my Portalage concert and new music coming out. And I listened to it and I like almost cried because I feel just like all the hard work that I put in has a shot of pulling itself off. This is the beginning. <laughs> and we're so far from the beginning. <sighs> I'm just feeling really, really stoked and really proud. And we're at this really pretty crag right now. Gonna do some sweet rock climbing. I'm excited. I get to touch rocks. Ooh. All right, you can't really see it, but behind these, there's a rock back there. There is a rock and Holman's climbing. We are in Czech campground slash climbing area. Check this out. Yup, so anyways, Sunday night, karaoke night. Oh, it's happening again, karaoke. Whoa, I'm really excited. What am I gonna sing? Do you believe in love after love? Girls just wanna have fun. All the Taylor Swift I can get away with. YouTube channel <laughs> at Dua Lipa. <laughs> normal, Nathan, normal. 
Move. 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 Nature not normal. Move. Move. Well now, well now, well now. That's the end of my journey, almost. I have like two more days to get home. <laughs> but I'm leaving Canada. I'm in line to enter the United States. I'm excited to return. Uh, United States is sketch as fuck. Canada's real nice. Um, for Lillian, ears only. I smooched the cutest boy last night and I'm just like such a spitting kitten. I'm such a fucking spitting kitten right now and I don't know what to do with it. I think there's nothing to do with it except for be grateful and yay. Oh my God, I wanna make out with him again. Yeah, these are things that I don't need on film. <laughs> but it's too late. Today I'm driving to Eugene, Oregon-ish to visit Drew and spend the night with her. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna send it back to Sacramento. And then I have so much to fucking do, holy shit. It'll be easy when I'm not trying to rock climb like all fucking day, you know? It's a little bit hard to get work done when you're in like the fucking most beautiful place in the entire world with literally the coolest humans ever. I had so much fun on this trip, like, so much fun. Even if I didn't smooch Kiss Boy last night, I would have had so much fun. But I did, and that made the trip even more fun. I'm gonna buy weed and weed because, I mean, that. <laughs> I'm back home and I hung up the picture. Oh man. It looks so good there. It like brings up the entire ceiling. Feels good to be back. I need to put everything away now, but it really does feel good to be back. Like, I think I feel, oh yeah, dude. Oh, just like grounded, grounded. Um, all right, what do you want to know? I think normally when I go on trips, like these kind of like climbing trips, I come back and I'm like, fuck, I want to get a van and like live on the road. And honestly, this made me not want to do that. Like, yeah, I would still totally fuck with the van and like being able to live on the road for like a month straight or something and like actually do work on the road and stuff. But I don't think I need a van to do it, even though a van would be fucking sick. But also like, I love all the people that I met on the road, honestly. Well, not honestly, I didn't love everyone, but I met so many amazing humans on the road. But I also realized that like, I think if you're on vacation all the time, it's not as vacation. It's not as intense vacation vibes. And so I like, you know, coming out on the road and being like, on vacation and just like being adventurous and spontaneous and just like meeting new people and exploring and whatever and then coming back and having some civility and feeling like I have a greater purpose which is music to me and to a lot of people rock climbing is the greater purpose but I don't feel that I feel like rock climbing is like this like hack into life but there's this whole other life to live which is music production like that's what gets me stoked out and making music with people and feeling like I do something cool honestly and i'm visiting and i'm coming back to a really cool place all right i think this is the end of the vlog did you like it if you're watching to the end wow comment below that's impressive this is it because in hype